Military cooperation between Russia and China is not directed against other states and in no way should be named a threat, claims Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu. He's arrived in China to discuss security issues as well as prospects for military cooperation with Beijing. Well, talks between the, the defense ministers of both countries have just finished. They're expected to sign a number of agreements. RT's Igor Piskunov looks at the developing relationship between Russia and China. We're here in Beijing where Russia's defense minister Sergei Shoigu is on a quick but quite an eventful visit. Russia and China do have quite a saturated relationship including military cooperation. And Mr. Shoigu said that global security is among the key issues discussed including of course the conflict in Syria. Now this relationship between Moscow and Beijing perhaps is now attracting new players such as Turkey because we've heard from President Erdogan who said he's looking into joining a Chinese Chinese, a Russian-led uh, political, economic and military alliance known as the Shanghai Cooperation Organization. Perhaps as an alternative to Turkey joining the European Union, it's been looking at joining the EU since 1963, but frankly hasn't been very welcome. Turkey should first of all feel relaxed about the EU and not be fixated. I mentioned my desire for Turkey to become part of the SEO with Putin and Nazarbayev. Uh, many analysts are saying that if Turkey was to join the SEO, it would be a massive U-turn in its relationship with the West, including the United States, including the EU, which paid Ankara 3 billion euros for its assistance to help resolve the refugee crisis and, of course, in its relationship with NATO. Many analysts are saying that, in theory, Ankara wouldn't have to get out of NATO to become a member of SEO, but it would still make that relationship a bit more complex. We have heard from NATO Secretary General who said that uh, he's sure in Ankara's desire and wish to remain in the alliance, but it seems many Western powers are closely watching Ankara's moves right now because for them losing that partner will not only mean losing the second largest military NATO power, but also one of the most important players in the region. Igor Piskunov, RT, reporting from Beijing.